Hi again from Andalusa. I've got to keep giving a few more little clips of this place because it is so beautiful. And I love looking at the history of wherever I go and the history of this place is beautiful stone, stone houses. And it's so nice to meet a few families who are rebuilding up these stone houses. It's nice to access what you have where you have. And the stone houses, I find where I am, it's nice and cool at night. Even though it's pretty hot through the day, I think we've been getting up to 34 degrees. This morning was a little cooler because we had some rain. But I love accessing where you are and what you have in that climate. One family that I talked to, they're way up in the tops and they got this really old house and they dug out the back stores, which was full of cow manure. And I, and I said, did you put that cow manure in the garden? They said, oh yes. So we went over to where their garden was, lush and green. It was very beautiful. It was green because of, yes, the very old cow manure. I don't think anyone's lived in the house for maybe 10 years, but also water. And the beauty, the beauty of these hills in Andalusa is there's springs, there's springs everywhere. And they've got polypipe bringing the water down into, and you might think, well, maybe you shouldn't drink the water if it came out of polypipe. All you have to do is let it run for a while. Just let it run for a while. And they had some beautiful tomatoes, they had lovely greens. And that brings me to another area is food that contains nourishment. Unfortunately today a lot of food is devitalized. It's grown in soil that has no nutrients. It's sprayed and when a, when a plant doesn't have the nutrients it's more susceptible to bugs. The bugs know when there's a weak plant they're the ones that it targets. But when a plant is strong, why is it strong? It's because of the soil is very high in nutrients but there's one more thing that the soil needs and that's microorganisms. Microorganisms break down the minerals in the soil and make them available for the plant. Now the plant knows that it needs those microorganisms. So 50% of the fuel that the plant makes from photosynthesis, it sends back down to the roots to feed the microorganisms. Beautiful illustration of the law of service that's written on every plant Every plant takes with one purpose and one purpose alone, and that is to give. So the plant takes from the sunshine, it takes from the air, it takes from the soil to give, to produce beautiful rockets so we can eat it, to produce beautiful apples so we can eat it. And this morning at breakfast, I ate figs from the tree, very high in nutrients. And I love picking that fig and putting it straight into my mouth. And when I pick the fig and put it straight into my mouth, high minerals, high nutrients. It's the minerals that give the flavor. The flavor of that fig is quite phenomenal. And I think most people, most fig lovers know, figs don't keep. So the nicest way to eat them is straight off the tree. And there's huge fig trees everywhere, very high in nutrients very high in minerals and of course they taste delicious don't you love the way god made food not only to be good for us but to taste good for us when we taste food like i tasted that thing and it tastes great i'm tasting minerals and our body is made up of minerals and i think we better spend the next lecture just on minerals they're so good